What does your wintertime fly box look like? If it looks like most, it's full of little teeny midges, and they work, but there's other stuff that's gonna work really well too. Hi, I'm Mickey Anderson from Fish Tech with this week's Big Fly Report. Next time you go to a stream in the winter, take a screen and screen the water and see what you find. You're gonna find a lot of stuff that doesn't change and just continues to grow. Now, what I mean by that is there's sculpins that are in the water, there's crayfish that are in the water, and they're really big, but there's also aquatic worms. They just keep on growing till they die. Same with the sow bugs and scuds. So you can have some bigger flies there. Now think about all the stuff that hatches in the spring. The squalus stone flies, and not too far after that, the golden stones, they gotta be over halfway grown. Same as the green drakes. They're coming off first part of the spring, they're over halfway grown. Caddis are the same, Mother's Day caddis, first part of May. They have to be over halfway grown, so they're all big flies. Now because there's that many big flies, big attractor flies will work also. Next time you go to the river, take a second, take a look, and then you'll believe me. Hey, for these tips and a whole lot more, come on down to Fish Tech and we'll help you out. Now for tonight's fishing line.